The leftovers of Helene continue to sit right over central Indiana, giving us a very dreary weekend with the chance for some downpours at times. I'm 13 News Meteorologist Matt Standards. Thanks for joining us online. We want to give you an update of what we're expecting for the rest of the weekend. The center of Helene is sitting there in western Kentucky. We're close enough that we get a lot of the clouds and we still have these scattered showers that remain, especially east and south of Indianapolis. However, throughout the day, we've had a couple sun breaks. The clouds have thinned out just enough in a few spots that we destabilize the atmosphere in just north and west of Indianapolis. So we're talking Crawfordsville, Lebanon, Frankfurt, Kokomo, Tipton, Peru, and the Lafayette area. And that's where we've had a couple downpours. Those could take place again tomorrow. What's going to happen is overnight tonight, just scattered showers will remain. We'll lose any kind of energy, but we're still able to produce some showers just because there's still a lot of tropical moisture sitting over us. Don't expect the low pressure to move very much the next couple of hours. It may meander just a little bit more towards central Kentucky, but our weather is pretty much going to stay the same. So more clouds, more showers for the rest of the weekend. But tomorrow afternoon, we could get a couple more sun breaks. And if the low moves a little bit farther east, those sun breaks could happen in and around Indianapolis. So we've got a chance close to the capital to get a couple downpours as well. We're also keeping an eye out towards the west. Got a cold front on the way. Probably not going to bring us a rain chance, but it is going to bring us a drop in temperatures this coming week, which I'll show you in the seven day forecast. But let's get through Helene. Got a lot of scattered showers out there, but you see a little bit of yellow popping up on the map with some of those downpours just north and west of Indianapolis here in this red zone for the rest of the evening till about eight o'clock, maybe 830, but really probably about eight o'clock. This zone should start to dissipate. We've already seen it weaken over time now that the sun is of course setting. Of course, we're not really seeing it. It's just getting kind of dark really fast with the clouds out. Sunset time, I believe it's just about 730 something. Uh, so we're going to be watching these downpours fade. This has been the zone we watched for the potential of some land spouts and some funnel clouds. We have these tiny brief rotations right on the bottoms of these very low clouds that could form a funnel every once in a while. But that threat will wane for the next hour. See, we're recording this right about seven o'clock. Those will wane. And we'll just have some scattered showers overnight tonight. It's already just light showers around Indy and to the east and to the south. No funnel threats uh, for most of central Indiana to the south and east. How much rain have we picked up total? Well, online, if you go to WTHR.com, we'll have a list for you as of 6 p.m. We're still getting some showers, so gradually these totals will increase. But we've got a list, kind of this halftime report. Most of the rain, of course, happened Friday and today. We still have some scattered shower, though, chances for your Sunday and Monday. So we'll gradually creep up those rainfall holes just a little bit. Most of us are going to get showers, but a few of us could get a couple downpours that maybe give you another quarter to a half inch of rain. Where you see the green, you picked up anywhere from about a half inch to just up to two inches. As soon as you see the yellow, we're estimating about two inches. Now, the rainfall report that we have online, those are the official rainfall observed amount from airports and from different sensors from the National Weather Service. So those are about as official as you can get. What you get in your neighborhood, in your backyard will probably differ. It's crazy how much from one side to the other side of town, huge differences, you know, huge differences in small distances. That's why I say it. Sometimes it could be a half inch difference just from one side to the other. So. Take it with kind of a grain of salt, but we've got good rainfall over central Indiana. We needed this rain. Of course, we didn't want all the wind. That wind was nuts. We're still cleaning up across central Indiana. Got a lot of trees down, a lot of limbs down, a lot of leaves down, and still some power outages as of this evening. But we are working to get those restored. AES and all the other uh, electric cooperatives and utilities are working hard into the evening and overnight hours to continue to restore power. The heaviest rain was in southern Indiana. That's where we had the core of Helene, not necessarily the core of the wind, but the core of the rain. We got the core of the wind came right through central Indiana. Top wind gust in Indy, 68 miles per hour. We had an unofficial gust, more from another sensor, not technically at the airport. Brownsburg, 74 mile per hour winds. This evening we're sitting in the 60s. We've had some 70s to the north and west where we've had those downpours pop up because we've had a little sun every once in a while trying to peek on through. Tomorrow morning for your Sunday, it's going to be a chilly one. 60s may not seem that bad, but when it's cloudy and you have a light northeast wind, it's going to feel more like the upper 50s and very low 60s. So I'd bring a couple extra layers. If you're headed to brunch with the family, maybe you're headed to a worship service, it's going to feel chilly. It's probably going to feel chilly all day long. Some of us will top out only in the upper 60s. Many of us will probably get to some low 70s. 
Best chance for mid 70s will be north and west of Indianapolis, where we have more of that sunshine. The farther south, farther east you go, closer to the center of Helene, the clouds get thicker and we can't really warm up if the clouds are too thick. So it's going to kind of stay on the cooler side throughout the day. It's going to stay cool in Indy. Of course, we got the Steelers coming into town. Isolated showers in the forecast, so we're kind of mostly clouded up there right around downtown right there at Lucas Oil. Bring the rain jacket. You may want it. A couple light showers on and off around downtown through the afternoon and hopefully celebrating a big victory. Hopefully you can put the winning streak for the Steelers down. We'll have to spill some scattered showers if you're hitting around central Indiana, downtown Indianapolis there after the game. Here's a look at future track 13 for the rest of this evening. Scattered showers will continue. These downpours, though, will fade here shortly, and then we can get rid of the funnel threat generally for the rest of the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up with more light rain, misty at times. It's going to be dreary. Later into the afternoon, if we can get a couple sun breaks here and there, it may not just be northwest Indiana. They're towards Lafayette and Kokomo. We may have a couple more breaks statewide, and if that takes place, we'll have a couple more downpour chances. There's still a very low risk of a funnel cloud or two, maybe even a quick land spout. We'll watch for that potential, maybe even a very brief tornado. We'll watch for it throughout the afternoon and evening. We'll give you kind of any updates here on some live streams, but generally scattered misty showers on and off throughout the day. It's not going to rain all day. You'll have some dry time but we still have rain in the forecast that continues into Sunday night and maybe a little bit more on Monday and Tuesday for Monday and Tuesday. Just a couple light showers generally in the afternoons. You get some daytime heating clouds get a little bit bigger. Stray shower possible throughout the afternoon on Monday afternoon on Tuesday. The rest of the week does look dry. Kind of see this little appendage right here kind of goes up. We've got rain chances by the end of this coming weekend, so we're not quite there on the seven day 10 day forecast at 11. We'll talk more about it. But it is going to remain showering cool for your Sunday. Monday, isolated shower, maybe still another one on Tuesday, and then some drier conditions coming up for the end of the week. We'll generally stay in the 70s, but remember, at the beginning, we talked about that weak cold front that's coming through towards the northwest right now. I don't think it's really going to give us too many rain chances Wednesday or Thursday because we're kind of we're using up the atmosphere, but it will be able to bring in a wind shift, drop some temperatures. Look at the 40s, 40s Wednesday and Thursday morning. It's going to be a little bit cooler 70s in the afternoon. It's going to be nice, but it will get a little bit cooler in midweek and then we rebound into the coming weekend and then tonight at 11. We'll talk a little bit more about the rest of the coming weekend and into the next week. We got some rain chances possibly back in the forecast.